Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Today we have a really fun book and a really fun activity to go with it. So today we are going to read Miss McNosh in The Great Big Squash and then Mrs. Lufkin has a really fun activity that you guys can do from home. So I hope you'll stay tuned and watch that afterwards. But for right now we are going to read Mrs. McNosh in The Great Big Squash. The first day of spring, Mrs. Nellie McNosh went out to her garden and planted a squash. She pushed the seed in with the tip of her toe and the minute she did it, it started to grow. At first, it was round and as big as a head. In fact, it looked just like the paper boy, Fred. Hmm? Then it turned yellow and bumpy and fat. It rolled from the garden and flattened the cat. It knocked over trash cans and ran over toes. It twisted the sprinkler and plugged up the hose. It crashed through the clothesline and smashed through the fence, scaring the pants off two elderly gents. Poor Nellie was worried. She said, oh my gosh, there's got to be some way to slow down this squash. She slapped it and scolded it, pinched it and kicked it, and then she took hold of its stem and she picked it. Now what did I do, wondered Mrs. McNosh. I've got to find something to do with this squash. There isn't a place in the world it will fit. It's big as a house. Wait, said Nellie, that's it. And so by the light of a big yellow moon, she scooped and she scraped with a long-handled spoon. And when the sun rose, where was Mrs. McNosh? Curled up sound asleep in her big yellow squash. All right, Mrs. McNosh and the Great Big Squash. So Mrs. Lufkin actually has a really fun activity with you and may, to do for you, and maybe you guys will grow a really big squash. We'll see. All right, bye friends. Hi everyone, I am excited to be here with you today to show you how to make a paper pulp Together, let's do it. So I want to show you some of the supplies that we're going to need. Okay? We need a measuring cup. A blender. It's going to get really loud. Paper towels. Something to stir. Scissors. Be careful. Don't run with this. Paintbrushes from later on. Paper that you're going to recycle, you'll also need some sort of screen. And I didn't, I didn't have anything, but look what I found. They're called drywall sanding screens. And they work pretty well. A strainer. Something to make shapes. And some seeds. Okay, and you get to choose. You can do 
some flowers or vegetables. And I had one more here. I guess I lost it. Oh, there it is. So these ones are the ones we're going to use, okay? And actually, I got these from the Thomaston Grammar School. They're awesome seeds, so keep that in mind when it's planting season. a little bit more. Alright, there it is. Can you see it? See the two? Right there? It says two cups. Can I add that? Squish it. Oh, there 
very squishy. Check it out. Ready? Can you see that? Jill's funny. Kind of cool. Get out as much as I can. All right, and after you do that, now you're ready to add your seeds. Very special. Tom still can. Let's go see. Okay, I'm going to cut that open. Add the seeds. Mix it up. I just mix it with my hand or if you don't like that. it's all mixed up, then you're ready to put it on your screen. Okay, and what that does is help more water to get out. Okay, so put it on there. Let's get it up. Put it on there. And get it all on there and then I'll show you. Use my stick, spread it out, or I can just use my hands, spread it out. Okay, and now what you want to do is put more paper towel, quarter towel, on top of that to get more water out. But look what I invented. I put paper towels on a roller, and I'm just going to roll some more of that water out. Okay, I'm going to do it down here. Can't see. Like that. So that's what I'm doing down here. I'm rolling it out just to get more of the water out. That should do it. And then as you're doing that, you can just start to shape it a little bit more. Depending on what kind of shape you want. Today we'll use a heart. Once that's all done, you put it in the sun to dry. And after it's dry, then you can paint whatever you want on it. Okay, and I'm going to show you one that I've already finished. Okay, here it is. And uh, I forgot to tell you, I want to put it on a drying rack. So this is one that I did the other day. Put it over there. It's made out of that same pot. Happy Mother's Day. Love us kids. Okay? And she'll get that and then she'll be able to plant it and then things will pop up. It's very exciting. Okay everybody, I hope you liked the plantable